Welcome to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. Today, I'm going to show you how to use MIDI Merge. MIDI Merge allows you to add additional notes to an existing MIDI clip without replacing it. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, here we have two MIDI clips. One is a drum kit, the other is a piano. I'll be using both to demonstrate what MIDI Merge does, starting with the drum kit. Right now, I'm using Battery 4 by Native Instruments, and I have a simple loop here. Let's go ahead and play it. Now let's say that we want to add a hi-hat to this. If we try to record it, Pro Tools will automatically replace this MIDI clip with a new one, just as so. I'm going to press record. To avoid this from happening, we need to turn on MIDI Merge. So let's go ahead and undo this. And in your transport at the top right corner, if you can't see your MIDI controls, go ahead and right-click this here and make sure that it is turned on. And in the MIDI controls, you're going to see an arrow pointing down to another arrow. This right here is your MIDI merge. We're going to turn this on, and let's try that again. And that allows us to add more notes to an existing MIDI clip. Let's go ahead and play that back. All right, let's move on to the piano. I'm gonna mute the drums, record enable the piano, unmute it, and for this I'm using addictive keys, and let's take a listen. With MIDI Merge still on, let's add a couple more notes. I'm gonna press record. Let's play that back. And this is how you add additional notes to an existing MIDI clip using MIDI Merge. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and comment, and help us reach others interested in music production. I do music production tutorials using Pro Tools and Ableton, as well as review and demo music production equipment. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next session.